It's National Preparedness Month. Do you have backup power? Hi, I'm Jonathan, the Provident Prepper, and today we are reviewing the EcoFlow River Pro power system. As we get going here, let's first talk just a little bit about what a portable power station is and why it can be useful to you. Portable power stations are basically a big battery, and they're not really all that big, but they have a lot of power in there that allow you to take this wherever you need it or use it for emergency power. You can plug in whatever appliances you need, and we'll talk about some of that as we go along here. These are charged normally using your household power when it's available, but obviously we're talking about emergency situations. So you have the ability then to charge with solar or with a generator. Uh, you can even use your car. You can have a car charger that you can charge this with. So that's the basics of how we get this thing charged. All of these power stations on the market, and there are a lot of them out there now, have different ratings. And some of the most important things you need to understand is the watt hours of energy that it can store. That's the battery storage and the watts of energy it can deliver, how much you can plug into it. Those are two critical things that you have to understand before you even think about buying a power station. If you think you're going to run your stove with one of these, you got to think again because it's just not going to do it. If you're going to run some medical equipment, this size here might be a great option, but you need to think about that as we get going here. Think about the loads you need to run and then you can size your station to go meet that need. There are a couple of ways that you can figure out how much energy those appliances that you need to run are going to use. One of those is by looking on the label. They will often tell you about how many watts they're going to use. Sometimes they're not terribly specific, but they'll give you some idea. You can also look it up online, or you can use something like this power meter, and this will tell you instantaneously how much it's using and how much it uses over time. And I'm gonna do a whole video on these um, energy consumption meters, so we'll talk more about that in a different video. As you figure out how much energy you're going to need, then you can size a power station to meet that need. As I mentioned today, we're talking about the EcoFlow River Pro portable power station. And when Lethe reached out to me, I was moderately interested and then he threw in a twist that made me kind of excited because this world of power stations is evolving almost daily. There's new things coming out, larger stations coming out. This particular station is more on the lower end, but it still has some significant capability especially when you consider this piece, which got me excited, which is a new twist called an extra battery. This extra battery can plug into this main station. This is just a battery. It doesn't have the inverter with it, but you can double the amount of storage that you have by adding the extra battery. So we're gonna talk more about that. Let's first talk just a little bit about the base unit here. This will hold 720 watt hours of energy. And for my wife's sake, that is a, an LED 10 watt light bulb would run for 72 hours. Just to kind of put it in perspective. This can also output 600 watts of energy. So you're not gonna run anything really large off of this, but it can run all kinds of things from maybe some medical equipment, lighting, charging your computer, charging your phones, all kinds of things like that um, on the smaller end. As far as DC outputs, it has a USB-C port here that delivers up to 100 watts. It's got two standard USB-A outputs and one USB fast charge output here. You also have your basic um, automotive plug here and also two DC 5521 outputs. So you have all kinds of capability here to charge everything from your small electronics up to larger devices. It also has a really cool light here um, that will do the SOS and just basic lighting. On this end of the River Pro you have your three outlets. Three standard outlets, 120 volts, these are pure sine wave so they're good clean quality power. Again you can only deliver 600 watts from there but that will still run some significant loads. On this other end you have your charging port for charging with standard household power as well as your input 
for your solar or your car charging. Connecting the extra battery is fairly straightforward. There's a little cover here that you pull down. This cable just pushes in there and you can lock that in place. And then on the back of this battery, there's also a cover and this goes right in here. Now, when you're charging, you just charge this all as a unit and this will all charge together. Um, when you're using it, it is a little bit of a hassle if you're needing to move it, but if you're just keeping it stationary, this just works out extremely well. You have that extra capacity and extra 720 watt hours of energy that you can use. So I have this extra battery here. You can only use one extra battery at a time, but you could have two or three extra batteries if that's what you wanted to do and have them available for use as one of these gets depleted. At this point, I should also mention one other feature that this has. It's called the X-Boost. That will allow you to actually run some appliances that are rated between 600 and 1200 watts. Now your output is still only going to be 600 watts, but what it does is it knocks the voltage down to keep it within that 600 and it will still run some things, especially some things with heating elements in them. So I wouldn't rate my power station by that 6 to 1200 watts. I would stay at the 600 watts. If you need more than that, I would go buy something that's bigger. But that is just one feature that is available on here that may help in some situations. The River Pro can accommodate up to 200 watts of solar. Um, the voltage on that is anywhere between 10 and 25 volts. This is the EcoFlow solar panel that came with the bundle. Uh, this is 160 watts, so it's not quite the 200 watts, but you could use any combination up to that 200 watts. The nice thing about this is it is fairly compact. It folds up and it fits in this case, which also acts as a kickstand. So it is the complete package here. If you get these items, you're all set for your charging as well as your use. I really like the display on the River Pro. It's very straightforward. Right here in the middle, you can see the percentage of charge that you have in the battery. You can also see the amount of time that you're gonna be able to run. Whatever loads are running at that point in time, you can see how many hours you'll be able to run that. Over here, you can see the input, how much energy is coming in, either through solar or through AC power charging, and how much is going out to your different loads. Just a very straightforward, simple display. Let's play with a few devices and see how the EcoFlow does. So this is our lantern. We love this flashlight. It's very powerful. Um, so you can see here, we can just plug this in and this is drawing five watts to charge this flashlight. This is a rechargeable flashlight. Another thing our family would use in a summer power outage is a box fan. Something we could put in the window at night. So it's easy as plugging that in, turning this power, AC power on, and the fan will work. So with this fan on the low setting, you can see that we're using 53 watts of energy. And at that rate, we'd be able to use this for about 14 hours using just this power station without the extra battery. Another important thing for our family is this nebulizer. We have a couple of people that really need, um, on occasion, the ability to use a nebulizer to help them to be able to breathe better. So again, this is something that would be very, very important for us. You can see this is using about 128 watts of energy. And at that rate, we would be able to use this for about six hours. Of course, we probably wouldn't need it for nearly that long, but that's what this machine could do. Another important thing that we might use this for is the ability to charge a laptop computer. And again, we just, Turn this on and you can see as this gets going that it could charge this for somewhere around 27 hours. So I urge you to think about the important loads that you might need to run. Maybe it's an oxygen concentrator, in which case this machine might be a little small for that. A lot of those take anywhere between 120 and 600 watts depending on what kind of a uh, oxygen concentrator it is. So you may want actually something a little larger than this, but something like a CPAP machine they generally use between about 30 and 60 watts with most of them are right around 50 watts of energy. So that would get you through about 12 hours or more um, using this machine. 
So there are things that you just simply can't run with this machine. This is a great machine, um, but it's not going to run your fridge. It's not going to run your stove. It's not going to run your microwave. Um, this heater I actually was able to run, but it was in the X-Boost mode on low, and uh, it's just not going to run as efficiently. And for that matter, things like air conditioning, heating, and cooking, you're simply not going to want to use this. They are too energy intensive. So you're not going to use this machine for those things anyway. But just understand the limitations, but also recognize that there are some great things that you can use this machine for. Let's wrap this up. The EcoFlow River Pro is a nice unit. I really like it. It's small and it's compact, which means that most people can handle this. When you get into the larger units, they're obviously going to be a lot heavier, but with this being broken up, you have 1,440 watt hours of use um, in two small packages here, and you can use just this if that takes care of your need, or you can combine the two for more energy. That's a, a feature that I really like about this. The other things that I really like about this are the simple display, uh, the reliability. EcoFlow is a major player in the power station market, so they're good, reputable people. As for the X-Boost feature, I'm kind of mixed on that. It can be very useful in certain situations, but just don't plan on that being able to run 1200 watts of energy on any device because some of them do have very strict voltage limitations. As far as cost, EcoFlow is very competitive with other units on the market. You can look at their website and see a variety of different stations in different sizes and their prices. This unit is $649, the extra battery is $399, so for 1440 watts of power, that's pretty competitive with what's happening out in the marketplace. EcoFlow has agreed to give our audience an additional 3% off if you use the promo code PROVIDENT. So check out the link in the description. And now for the question of the day. When the lights go out, how are you going to take care of your critical needs? Comment below. And thanks for being part of the solution.